Yo, what is up guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you all how to make thumbnails like Jake Paul and Logan Paul. So before you guys comment, you already made a video on this, I'm going to redo it because I know I can make it better, so I'm just going to redo it. So basically, the first step is, once you're on Photoshop, you're going to go to the file, you're going to click new, and you're going to put the width as 1280, height as 720, you guys know this stuff, but once you copy all this down, you're going to click OK. So now, once you're here, Basically, you're going to put in your thumbnail image that is unedited, obviously. So, for this case, I'm just going to use a picture of Jake. So, you're going to go to File, Place. Then, you're going to go find your picture. So, right here. And now, once you have your picture, you're going to click Check. Alright, so now once you have your picture, basically, you're going to want to use a lasso tool to crop out the main center of attention in your thumbnail and your video. So, if I was making a video about Jake Paul, obviously, I'm going to outline Jake. So basically, you can either click L to go into the lasso tool, or you can just click it. But no matter what you do, you're going to want to have the polygon lasso tool. So right click the lasso tool, and you basically just select the polygon lasso tool. So now basically, you're just going to outline with the lasso tool the main center of attention. So if you're doing a video about fidget spinners, you know, outline the fidget spinner or whatever, you guys know. So I'm just going to outline Jake. So obviously you're going to spend time on this to make it look as best as you can, but I'm going to speed up the video now. So now once you're done outlining the person or whatever, you're just going to hold control and tap J. So now once you've done that, you can basically move it around like this. So now once you're finished, basically you're going to right click the layer of the crop image that you just made. So not the background like this, but you will have a separate layer with the image on it. So you're going to right click it, you're going to go to blending options. So now basically you're just going to put a stroke on it, so like that. So you can either have it as black, but what I like to use is white. So if you just go to white, it'll obviously be white. And now you're basically just gonna put the size bigger to make it stand out more. So if you like, that should be good. So now once you've done the stroke, basically now you're gonna put on an outer glow to make it stand out even more. So just go into outer glow, make it white, and put the spread up a little and the size up until you have something that looks like this. So now once you're done that, you're just gonna click OK. So now the next step is to have the color background. So basically, now we're going to want to do, basically do the same thing. You're going to right click it, go to blending options until you're here. So now basically you can do a couple of things. You could either have a gradient background or a colored background. So I'm just going to be showing both of you guys. So the color background will look something like this. So if you go to color background or color overlay, it'll look like this. But now basically you're just going to slide the opacity down to around 50% like this. And now you can change the color to whatever you want. I personally like blue a lot. It looks really nice and red. So those are my two favorite um, color backgrounds. So you could either have that or you could have a gradient background, which I'll show you right now. So if you go to gradient overlay, basically you put the opacity down to 50-ish percent again. So now you can select all of these. So you can have rainbow, you know, you can have this, all of these, or you can make your own. So what I mean by that is if you go to one of them, like the pattern that you like. So if I want to have something with two colors like this, you can basically go into it and change the color. So if at the bottom here, you guys can see the color, you're basically gonna tap on it, you're gonna go to the color and you can switch it. So I'm just gonna keep this red and I'm gonna switch the green to blue. So if you switch it to that, as you guys can see, it'll now look something like this. All right, so now that's basically it, guys. Obviously, if you wanna add text, you can do that. And also a really cool thing you can do with your text is basically right click it, go to warp text and you can do a bunch of these things which look pretty cool like this and you could actually like customize it. So yeah that's it guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video. Peace.